Okay. Now, we talked about this, and so this is a repeat, but it's, that's okay. A set of points in which every pair is comparable is called a chain. Is a one element set a chain? Is a one element set a chain? I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing some heads like this and some heads like that. Yeah? You're trying to stick me, but you're wrong. I, I can get hoisted on my own petard, but this is not one of those occasions. This is a, a statement that is vacuously true. Because if you say it is not a chain, you must identify a pair of points which are not comparable. And there are no pairs. So a one element set is a chain. A one element set is a chain. A chain is a subset in which every pair is comparable. The blue points that have been highlighted there, X, T, E, Y, form a chain, a chain of size four. Now, what I, all I've done between this slide and the preceding slide is color another point blue. Now I have a chain of size five, starting from the bottom, X, up to T, up to S, to E, and then on to Y. And that chain is maximal in the sense that you cannot color any additional point and keep the set a chain. Look at that picture. Can you find a maximal chain of size 2? Find a maximal chain of size 2. There are several. Who's got one? What do you say? M-A to J. Sorry? M-A on side to J. M-A-J, let me check this out, M-A, now you're saying O and Z, okay, I'll take that one, O-Z, okay. there are bunches of them, do you see, well, I, I, I wouldn't ask a, one of size three because you found one, uh, M-A-J, what about a maximum chain of size four? U, U, Q, B, I. Yep. You see that one? U, Q, B, I is a maximal chain of size four. Okay. All right. Here's a maximal chain of size six. Now, I've swapped some points out, obviously. X, T, S. A N K, that's a chain of size six, and you can't add anything else to this set and keep it a chain. Clear from the picture? All right. Now, the definite question over here. It's the same picture. So, yes, there are. Uh, like GJ, GJ, that's a maximal chain. It's the same picture. This picture is, is going to be reused many times. Okay, so here's a maximal chain of size six, and the definition of height is it's the maximum size of a chain. So the natural applied problem is how hard is it to find the height and we make these observations, it's clear how to provide a certificate for an assertion that the height of P is at least something. You just simply provide the chain. 
But how would you provide a certificate for the assertion the height of P is at most H? You know, if I give you a big post set, a thousand points, and somebody stands up and says, the height of this is at most 23, and they are challenged, based on just the definitions, how would they defend that answer? From basic principles, they would be left with, well, I couldn't find a longer one, and you can't either. That's not very convincing, is it? Not very convincing. All right, we'll come back to that. 